G-Day, Georgia Spring Game, coming up this weekend. Tomorrow at 1 o'clock? Yeah, tomorrow at 1 o'clock. I'm going to be live streaming tomorrow. Ohio State game comes on, I think, at noon. Uh, Georgia comes on at 1. I think Miami Spring Game is on the ACC Network sometime tomorrow afternoon. Anyway, I'm going to start live streaming tomorrow sometime around 12. So I'll be live streaming during the Georgia game. So uh, for those of you that aren't going to the game, uh, if you want to uh, hang out and watch the game together, come back to this channel tomorrow around 12 or 1 o'clock and we'll stream some uh, spring games tomorrow. But what am I uh, looking for? What am I watching for in the spring game? The quarterback situation. I, I know everyone's tired of hearing it. Believe me, I'm tired of talking about it. Um, nothing to do with Stetson Bennett, though. I am curious uh, who... who uh, will emerge as the number two between Carson Beck and Brock Vandergriff. Most of the reports I've read out of spring practice seem to indicate that Carson Beck has uh, maybe solidified the number two spot. So it'll be interesting to see how they play uh, tomorrow. And, of course, you got Gunnar Stockton, a true freshman. He's an early enrollee. Uh, not that he's going to be getting any real playing time during the season, but it's be our first chance to see him throw a football around in a Georgia uniform. Uh, this weekend. That's one of the best parts about the spring game every year is the true freshman early enrollees. You get to see them for the first time. So we'll get a look at Gunnar Stockton. I still think we're going to lose another quarterback to the transfer portal. JT Daniels, of course, announced uh, his transfer to West Virginia a couple of days ago. I still feel like we're going to lose one more. It's just hard for me to imagine that we're going to keep Carson Beck and Brock Vandergriff when when Gunnar Stockton is right behind him, it seems to me like whoever is the number three quarterback this year coming out of spring is likely to enter the transfer portal. Um, and, and I guess that would be either Carson or, or Brock. I mean, I hope I'm wrong. I don't ever like to lose anybody, but I wouldn't blame the number three QB coming out of spring if they decided to enter the uh, decided to enter the transfer portal. You know, people say that spring game is pointless and useless. You can't tell anything from a spring game. There's no point in watching it. Even if that's true, which I don't completely agree with, but even if that's true, it's still college football in April. I'll take it. But uh, who remembers last year's Georgia spring game? Who was the best player in last year's Georgia spring game? Did anybody remember? It was A.D. Mitchell. It was A.D. Mitchell. And nobody knew who the hell he was. Nobody knew who he was. He wasn't on anybody's radar before last year's spring game, you know? As Georgia fans, we were talking about, uh, well, George Pickens until he got injured around this time last year, but and Jermaine Burton and, and, and Kiaris Jackson and, and uh, uh, Dominic Blaylock and all those guys, right? No one was talking about A.G. Mitchell. No one even knew who he was. He went absolutely nuts in the spring game. Everybody was talking about him after that, and then turns out he was one of our better receivers uh, last season. So sometimes you do see some things in the spring game that end up translating to the regular season. A couple of big names are out for Georgia for the spring game. We won't get to see Darnell Washington and Brock Bowers being the, the, the main two, right? Not going to see them. But that means we will see a whole lot of Eric Gilbert. So Eric Gilbert, of course, not a freshman, but it's going to be our first chance to see him in a Georgia uniform, right? Catching passes. He's playing tight end this spring. I uh, got a, a true freshman, Oscar Delp, um, a, a couple of uh, uh, other tight ends too. But um, so that'll be interesting to see to keep an eye on uh, on uh, on that. And uh, how do the receivers look? You know, uh, Dominic Blaylock reports again out of spring that he's looked really, really good uh, so far this spring, and he's been basically hurt for two years. Dominic Blaylock. I know he played some last year, but he's been basically hurt since the last game of his freshman year. Uh, way back in 2019, I guess it was, right? So, get an eye on that, too. And that's really it for the offense. I mean, I, I'm curious about the backup quarterbacks. I'm curious about the uh, Eric Gilbert uh, tight end, and, I'm, you know, let's see the wide receivers. Defense, inside linebacker. Uh, we lost our top three inside linebackers off last year's team, Quay Walker, Channing Tindall, and Kobe Dean, Right. A lot of talent uh, on the roster at the inside linebacker position, but not a whole lot of experience. You got uh, Pop, what's his name? Juwan Dumas Johnson or whatever his name is. They call him Pop. I'm pretty sure he's going to be uh, one of the starting inside linebackers. A couple of options for the other ones. So we'll see who they put out there with the first team defense tomorrow and you know who plays with the second team, things like that. Defensive line, Jalen Carter. The, the guy, Jalen Carter's not a mister. Jalen Carter's an absolute stud. I love Jordan Davis. 
And Jalen Carter may not end up being as popular as Jordan Davis, but Jalen Carter is every bit as good as, uh, as Jordan Davis, if not better, in my opinion. Uh, Devontae Wyatt is, is the guy ac across the defensive front that I think we're really going to miss from last year's team. So we'll see what they have out there at the defensive tackle and defensive end positions. Outside linebacker Nolan Smith and Robert Beal both come back. Robert Beal led the team in sacks last year. Nolan Smith, former number one recruit uh, in America. So good to go there. Keely Ringo in the secondary. Christopher Smith. Uh, Tyke Smith, maybe? We'll see. Uh, Dan Jackson, of course, back. Need to find the other corner spot opposite of Keely Ringo. So we get a get a look at a couple of different people tomorrow at that position there. Uh, here's my annual uh, plea to Georgia fans. If you've never been to a spring game, go to a spring game. It is a lot of fun. You will not regret it. You take your kids, take the whole family. It's cheap. And they are selling tickets this year. I have a feeling there's a lot of Georgia fans who are going to show up in Athens tomorrow with no ticket. I have that feeling. Georgia's never sold tickets to a spring game before. It's always just been a first-come, first-served thing. They open up the stadium, and you just go get whatever seats you want. They sold tickets this year uh, because they were expecting an overflow crowd. So they sold selling tickets $5 a piece. You can go to the Georgia Athletic Department website um, and buy them. They're only $5, but you do have to have a ticket to get in. Uh, I have a feeling a lot of people don't know that. Um, so we'll see how many people show up. It's supposed to rain tomorrow morning. It's Easter weekend. Will it be a sellout, 93000 uh, If not, it'll be close. If not, it'll be close. There'll be 75000 there at least, I'm sure, um, which is way more than any other spring game I've seen, uh, I've seen so far. Um, I think Clemson had 45000 or something. Auburn had less than that. Uh, Florida played last night. Not sure how many Florida have. Florida played on Thursday. <laughs> Couple of interesting uh, stories yesterday involving Thursday. One with Florida playing their spring game on a Thursday, and the reason why they played the spring game on Thursday too. And this isn't my opinion. Uh, I, I mean, Florida issued statements, and, and Billy Napier even came out and straight up said why they played the game on Thursday. Uh, damn, what a shame. Same reason Tennessee. It's basically the same reason Tennessee has decided to play their first game of the year on Thursday instead of Saturday. If you want, if you want, should I make a video about Thursday? Let me know down below if you want me to make a video about, about Florida, Tennessee, and Thursdays. It might be a good video. It might end up being a good video. I love the spring game. Uh, there'll be a bunch of recruits there. I love the spring game. Um, I'm not I'm not able to attend this year. Like I said, I am going to stream it from uh, here, though. So for those of others of you who are unable to go, come hang out with us here tomorrow uh, during the game, and we can talk about what we're seeing. I, I I don't show the stream on here. I don't show the game on the live stream. I just do a live stream while the game is on. I watch the game. I watch the game over there. Uh, you know, so, but... Uh, yeah, so if you're not going, but you're going to be watching the game, come hang out with us. We have a good time in the comment section. There's always some good football discussion in there. And even if you're not a Georgia fan, there's a ton of spring games on tomorrow. A bunch. There must be 30 spring games tomorrow. So and a bunch of them will be on TV. You got Georgia coming on ESPN2 at 1 o'clock. You got a bunch of ACC spring games coming on the ACC network. Big Ten spring games coming on the Big Ten network tomorrow. So lots of spring games. Lots of spring games. Come hang out. We'll watch some of them. But, yeah, I love the spring game, and I'm looking forward to it. So, uh, to, I guess to summarize, backup quarterback, is it going to be Carson Beck or Brock Vandergriff? Who looks better tomorrow? Curious to see that. Uh, I'm excited to see Eric Gilbert catch some passes uh, in the Georgia uniform. Of course, he missed all last season with some uh, personal personal issues. Uh, so, uh, be our first time getting a look at him, right? Uh, what the why? How good? How how good really does Dominic Blaylock look? Are the reports true from practice that he looks back to his old self again? And then on the defense, how are they rotating? And who's you know who are the starting inside linebackers right now? How are they rotating those players in and out? Who's who's playing corner opposite uh, opposite Keely Ringo? And what does the defensive line look like outside of uh, Jalen Carter, who's a guaranteed uh, starter for sure? Uh, that'll, that's what I'll be watching for tomorrow during the spring game, and of course all the uh, freshman early enrollees that uh, we'll get our first chance to see them play football um, at Sanford Stadium uh, in, a, in a Georgia uniform, right? Gunnar Stockton and that entire group of early enrollees from this past year's signing class. <sighs> Thursday spring game for Florida and a week one home game on Thursday for Tennessee.
Dang. Dang. I thought the Mac in that plate on Thursday. <laughs>